hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are making matching ground if you know you know i'm going to take you through on making this very delicious simple delicacy join me so in our clean bowl we're going to turn in our cut nicely cut bite-sized good foods because yeah the trick in this is using good foods for this so we're going to give that a good wash scrape out all of the burns because of course you know while preparing goods it goes through the raw fire so you need to scrape out all of those burn from it in a clean pot we're going to set our goat meat on fire because we need to cook this thoroughly and get it ready i'm going in with my onions right now and my pepper mix because we want it to have taste we want it to look good as well so yeah we're going in with our seasoning cubes and of course this is for taste remember you, this is where you control how much you put please don't put too much because you don't want it to be too salty or too you know i'm sure you know what i mean so giving that a good mix you know so that the ingredients set i set it aside and allow to boil then on this end, you know, I'm cutting my periwinkle. I'm actually doing it myself because I got into the market really late and I had to buy things in a rush. So yeah, it's really not a big deal for me. I I don't mind doing it myself, though it takes time. But yeah, here we have it. I'm going to wash it because if you know your fresh periwinkles, you know that it comes in mud. So we want to give that a really good wash and you have to be careful at it. So here we have it, periwinkle nicely washed, clean. We're gonna add that to our good mix already cook, cooking. And there we go. We're gonna give that a good mix and set it aside to boil again. You know, because you want the stock to get into the shells of the periwinkle and cook that a bit. So this is what we have uh, already nicely cooked good meat and periwinkle, have a narrow pepper, or tazzy leaf, seasoning cubes, onions from oil, and of course our miri ungo. To know what this liquid is, please check my previous video on Abachao Mkobi. So now in a clean pot, we'll add our meringue to it. And of course, this is what helps with the thickness and the consistency we want for this mix. Going in now with my palm oil, put as much as you need and be careful not to overput. So yeah, I'm going to put that and give that a good mix. So having mixed that thoroughly, this is the consistency to give you. So now I'm going with my seasoning cubes and a little pinch of salt to go with because of course for taste, very little because remember you've already seasoned your meat and it already has taste. So I'm going to go in now with my roughly blended habanero pepper because of course we want it hot and spicy because that's the idea. Because when you have parties, of course you know wines and drinks will go with it so you want something hot. And then our diced onions, give that a good mix. Just, you know, almost the same way we had our bacha done, but yeah, a little bit of a tazzy. This is the bitter leaf, and I had to put very little because the client doesn't like it, you know, doesn't like the leaf so much, but you need it, so just very little works. And then crayfish, of course, and that is it. Give that a good mix. You can actually test this to know the state at which it's in right now. So I'm going in now with my mix of goat's meat food and periwinkle. Look at how that's looking already. So you give that a thorough mix, a thorough mix, because you want the mixture you have already made earlier to, you know, infuse into the periwinkle and the goat's meat. So there we have it. Let's mix that up. Now, please take note my method for this is mixing this off fire now while i'm able to like turn it thoroughly i will now set it on fire so keep that in mind that is actually my own method some persons like to mix on the fire but i prefer to you know do it off fire so that it just helps me control the consistency and the taste as well so after this is done i'm going to set it back on fire for you to cook properly so this is it looking 
beautiful already it's already heating up on low heat because you want everything to infuse into the shells of the periwinkle into the goat's meat and this is what it looks like you know steaming properly from underneath and so it's actually ready and we are good to go the taste is amazing very tasty you can have this at any gathering of your choice bed day baby dedication just a normal weekend sit out with friends picnics any get together at all so yeah this is it we're gonna have it served oh look at that goodness if you have a taste of this you will come back and tell me thank you i'm sure a lot of people who are settled in potar courts and riverine areas of nigeria they know this thing as in they probably have heard of it and not tasted it but a lot of people have also tasted it it's as tasty as it looks gorgeous trust me it's beautiful it's easy steps it's something you can do from the comfort of your home you know so here we have it looking beautiful so i hope you try this and let me know what you think in the comment section and if you've tried it before also let me know what you think about it and you know Tell me what next you would have me do. Ah, oh no, no, no. Don't miss out on this. Don't miss out on this. Give it a try. Trust me, guys. Give it a try. Thank you so much for sticking through with me on this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.